Cal Ripken Jr. Play Ball by Cal Ripken Jr. and Mike Bryan. Chapter book, friends. Play every day. This year, the year was 1981. I was sitting in the Orioles bench waiting to play pro baseball. Me? I thought, sitting in the bench, I was not used to this. This wasn't what I had in mind, not for the big leagues. But the Baltimore Orioles had always been my favorite team. While I was growing up in Maryland in the 1960s and 70s, they had one winning season after another. By 1981, they had been in five World Series and they had won two championships. It was my first year with the Orioles. How can I break into this lineup, I wondered, and how can I stay there? I came up with two answers, play well, play every day. I decided to play so well that the manager would have to keep me in the game. One year later, I broke into the lineup. I remembered those questions and those answers. Because I worked hard and played every day, I was able to break the record for playing consecutive games. Because I worked hard and played every day, I was able to break the record for playing consecutive games. That's one game right after the other. The record was 2,000. 130 games in a row. I played through some good seasons and some that were not so good. I had hitting streaks and slumps, but I kept going. I kept playing my best. I kept doing my job. That's what I learned growing up in the Ripkin family. A baseball family. My father began working for the Orioles the year my parents got married, and he worked hard. First, he was a player in the minor leagues, then he was a manager in the major leagues. First, he was a player in the minor leagues, then he was a manager in the minors. The Orioles had minor league teams all over the country so my family traveled around a lot. We had a house in Aberdeen, Maryland, which is where we lived. But during baseball season, we would pack up and go with dad. All together, my family rented houses in 14 different towns. For me, it was just part of growing up in a baseball family. My sister Allie is the oldest. I am next, then my brothers, Fred and Billy. Billy is the other baseball player in the family. When we were really young, before we went to school, we would travel with dad to Florida for spring training. We played there. We stayed there for four to six weeks at a time. When spring training was over, we'd load back up the car and drive to a new town. Sometimes it was fun, but life on the road could be tough too. It was hard to make friends. We never stayed anywhere long enough. So we looked to one another for friendship. First grade was hard. I missed my family when I was in school. I wanted to go home. So I would wait for the teacher to be busy. Finally, I settled down. And of course, I still played with Ellie, Fred, and Billy after school and on weekends. What did we do? Well, we all grew up with baseballs in our hands, but we also played basketball, football, soccer, and even ping pong. We went bowling, too. I was competitive, and I admit I cheated sometimes. Ellie and Fred tried to keep me out of some games but I would beg to play. As I got older, I learned one thing. To see how good you really are, 
you have to play by the rules. All of us were good at sports. We were also good at breaking windows. The older we got, the more we broke. But Dad didn't mind. But Dad didn't get mad unless we played ball indoors. He just taught us how to fix the windows. As we grew older, we didn't travel as much. Dad was away a lot and I missed him. Mom had to be both our dad and our mom. She drove us everywhere. She went to all of our little league games, but dad was always there when we really needed him. We spent some summers in Asheville, North Carolina. I spent a lot of time in the park with dad. I'd hit some balls before games. I'd failed some grounders. I talked to the players. I got tips. I played in a little league team there too. Baseball became more and more important to me. That's where I put my energy, and I really started to learn.